Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be covering part five in this uh, case series that I've been doing. And today is going to be a little less instructional, a little more walkthrough in, in that, you know, a lot of the stuff you've already learned is, is going to go to make this, this lid. So this is a flat inset lid. Um, the transparent part is what we're making. Um, and let me see if I can turn that off real quick. So you can see uh, the percent sign gives you the transparency. So that's the lid we're going to be making. And these red areas are what's cut out. Um, so I can turn those off right here. So that's, so you'll see our headers there. And then the USB, I don't know where I have that highlighted. Yeah, so I have, I, I have that highlight going on somewhere else. Um, so this is what we're going to be making. So we're not going to be doing it in in this uh, larger um, case program. I do want to show you that I've, I've kind of updated this a little bit. The previous versions, the radius didn't work that great. And it's a little bit better now that the um, the lid follows the radius before it, was, it wasn't following it. Um, you'll see that the lid gets bigger. And we also, I fixed the offset to a degree. You know, there's other things to this, so you can make it thicker as, as, you, as you want. And I added this cylinder so that even if the, even if the Arduino gets too far deep in, you'll, you know, for, for certain thicknesses, you'll still be able to plug it in. Uh, if it gets too thick, you won't. Um, that's why I put these minimum and maximums in. I added a clearance one, so let's bring this to a better clearance. So that's 0.5, so you can see it now it's a nice tight fit. Um, and one of the things that I did with the clearance is that I added it to the USB port and the power port, and they, they grow in all directions when you add the clearance. I, I haven't added it for the, I have not added it for the header openings yet. So, um, and you'll also notice I added these dimension lines, um, and that was just for my own, uh, for my own use, because it starts to get confusing. You have you know, a radius thickness, you have uh, the thickness of the wall, and then you have the height, and the height is offset halfway, and uh, it starts to get confusing. So I, I added these, and what they do is, if this is a 25, .25 unit cone, and it, you know, when I, um, I set it up so that it halfway bisects the wall, so that way I know it's hitting the measurement I want, and you know, if you uh, move up closely. So, so this is, 80.54 to the center point of these cylinders. So I like that. I think I'm going to continue to use that and maybe improve it. Right now it's very kludgy as so I'm not going to really release it. So anyway, that's let's uh, start looking at the lid. So this is the finished lid by itself and what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be um, just doing a piece at a time and explaining it. Um, you know, like this Minkowski sum, we've already, we already went over how to do that. So I'm not going to do that again. I'm just going to bring it into, into a new document and we're going to build it a piece at a time. So, you, you know, you'll be able to jump through this and get everything you need. So these are all the rate, the variables from, from my main, uh, main object. So we're just going to use those cause there's no point in reworking those. Um, so this is our, our lid and it's the, it's the overall dimensions, but to add the, the Minkowski radius, you're going to add, it's going to be one unit greater in this. And then the offset to compensate for the, for the ledge that's added is also, uh, is also added. So this ends up being two units greater than what our width and length are. So that eventually is going to affect the, where the posts go. So basically what we have here is our square. Um, and a circle and they're put together with the Minkowski sum. Um, so the next thing we need to do is um, is to give this thickness. So we're going to give that thickness with the linear extrude and you'll see I'm going to be using a lid thickness of two. So let's go and add that. So now we have thickness because before you add the thickness the thickness you see is, is um, virtual, it's not really there. Okay, so the, at this point, um, we're gonna start adding the posts. So we're gonna be using the same posts that we had 
uh, from the pre from the uh, project to date. So it's the same post function. So I'm just going to grab that from from here. So it's filled in post and the screw mount little function module that I have. So I'm going to add both those modules. Okay. So and I'm going to do a, a a brief explanation of what this is. So these measurements are from my Arduino, and I'll show you that right here. It's it's this. So you'll see 1397. Let's see where is that. So that's so this is this corner of the Arduino is placed at zero zero on our on, in OpenSCAD. So that's so I'm measuring from the origin. So it's 1397 to the center of this hole and 2.54 uh, Y to the center. So you see that's my measurement there, and I repeat that four times. So um, so that puts all my posts in, and then this translates them to um, translates this board module which is what we covered I think in lesson two it's a square and a circle that create a filleted post um, so you can go back to two if you want to see that so let's just add this and you'll see we're gonna have to give it a height value so we're just gonna add that um, I'm gonna add this up here for reasons that will become apparent later so that adds bad post because I didn't give it a height. So let's give it a height of six because that's going to bring it up six units. Okay, and you'll notice. Okay, so it's not it's not at the on the on the face of this, um, and it's sticking out the edge. The reason it's sticking out the edge is because these measurements don't count, don't include the offset and the radius. So in this case, that's just two. So I'm going to put that in, uh, hard code that in, even though in the final model it'll be uh, it'll be here it'll be um, moved with width plus offset so but I'm just gonna put it in two for now so now you see that's fixed fixed its positioning and then the next piece that we need to do is is we need to move this to the bottom um, now I could just build it here you print it separately but I want to be able to include this in my main model so now we'll we'll put these on the bottom so to move these to the bottom we're gonna be doing a new function and it's called mirror um, so this is not one I've covered before uh, and it's, it's it does exactly what it says it basically just mirrors uh, whatever the child object is around the axis you designate with a one so I'm gonna mirror them around the Z and you'll see it's it's exactly where I want it so I didn't need to translate them up because I knew I was gonna mirror them and then they'd fall in the right place so that's it for the posts and the and the lid part now we need to add the USB and power opening. I do them as one part um, just because it made sense to me. It might work better as two different parts. So I'm going to copy that module in and this is one we covered I think in three. Um, let's see. Nope, not that one. Is it that one? Let me find it. Okay. So the module is just this this module right here, USB and power. Oops, I just made it small. So I'm going to copy that whole thing in. And again, this we defined in a previous lesson, so I don't want to re I don't want to rehash that. Um, so we're going to be putting that into our new one. I know these look very similar. So USB and power, I'll, I will cover. So it works the same way as the posts. It gives a position of or it gives the this defines is a little different than the post because we define the size of the of the power uh, the, the piece that sticks through the power port and we define the size of the USB port um, and then we define a position from so that's going to be from zero 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 so where is the power and where and which will be about here and where the USB is which will be about here so let's just add those so we'll do USB and power and see what happens. So you see they're, they're offset vertically. So we don't have to position these exactly. We just need them to cut through this for now. So I'm going to translate those down. And we're just going to translate them down on the Z axis by, um, by like five. And so this is arbitrary. In, our, in my main, oops, need to be negative five. I do that all the time. So this needs to be diffed. So mm -hmm. 
And one of the things you'll notice is it coincides with this post. So we want to diff this US power port from this post. Unfortunately, um, at first you think you can't do it because you can only diff from one thing. But the reason why I put this up here is because what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a union of these two objects. And that, in effect, makes it outside the union. Um, it turns it into a single object, which we can diff from. So I'll create my union. And let's just tab this in a little bit so it's more readable. And then, so now when we create our diff, or difference, sorry, and include the USB and power, you'll see that it's diffed out of the lid and that fillet post. And then we'll need our clearance in our final model to make sure that, that the post doesn't interfere with the, um, with the, the power port. Uh, so the final thing to add is the headers. So let's grab those from from the other model. So let's see headers right here. So this is new. I don't want to I, I don't want to type it out while you're watching because that I think would be torture. So I'm you know I'm trying to do these a little bit faster than I have in the past, um, and I'll try to put time indexes in. So what we have here is the same thing as below. We have the the, the positions in X Y Z. So for each of the four header openings, we have a, a an origin point, and then we have the uh, height, width, and, and length uh, defined here. Uh, you'll see they're all the same height and all the same width, and they just have varying length. So I, I could probably even um, no, uh, use a variable for that, but I don't think that's I think that'd be overkill. So now we're going to do the same thing with the header openings. We're just going to copy them up. And um, let's see what and let me figure out what I did. Mm -hmm. Line thirty. Oh, I got rid of <laughs> silly me. Copy, not cut. Okay. So there's our header openings, and they're also in the wrong position, so they'll be, need to be translated just like this. Oops. I'll come to think of it, our USB and power might be as well. I, I'm just going to assume that they are, and we'll have to. I'll have to check all that. Yeah, so that's probably where everything should be, and it still does cut into that. So that's it's still useful to make that union. And we just need to bring it down to cut through just, just like here. And that's it. And that's our basic model. So now what I, I do want to show you is that if, like, say you had a diff and this was, you know, not where you expected it. These were not, say, maybe, um, you know, you moved them and, hey, where did my things go? Hey, where did my USB and power go? You can, if you do a hash on those, hashtag or a pound, um, and render it, it'll show you where they are and they'll highlight them in red. This is a tremendously useful feature. Even in helping line things up, um, you know, it really helps, it helps you to, to see where things are. So, um, you know, I highly recommend using that. And then the transparency is tremendously useful as well. Okay. So that's, that's our lid module. Now I'll show you how it works in the project box. So you'll see there's the lid we just created. And um, let's make it transparent so that we can see how things are interacting. And what you can see is that these posts come down just to above the board level of where are these. So we'll, have a, we'll end up with a post in between these that locks the Arduino in place. Um, and by using some of these, um, you know, uh, variables and stuff, we can just, we can do simple things like make it a bigger case. So maybe if you want to make a phone out of your Arduino, you could do it this way. Um, or, you know, if you wanted to make it really thick or really tall and make, turn it into some kind of PC, you'll see that these posts adjust now. I probably I would just go to screws at that point, so we'll need a way to I'll set a way to turn off those posts. Um, but you'll also see that uh, my measurements adjust. Uh, looks like I yeah. So my measurements follow. You know they use those as well. 
So this is getting to be fun for me and I hope people like it. And uh, I'll keep keep adding pieces. I'm gonna add a, um, so this is like a project lid. So you know you wouldn't, I'm gonna add a, a lid that makes it like more of a finished product lid um, as opposed to experimenter's lid. And maybe later on I might add cutouts for an LCD, like how to do that cutouts for maybe a bat and maybe we'll add a battery someday but um as long as i get interested i'll keep doing it um and i hope you enjoy if you like this video make sure you subscribe click the alarm bell and uh, you'll get notices on updates